Je vous remercie. Je vous salue. I thank you. I salute you. To have wanted to gather here on this place of January 3rd. I greet you for having accepted to respond to the call of the CSP. I greet you because you demonstrate here that the people of Haute Volta are a major people. Je vous salue parce que vous démontrez ainsi que le peuple de Haute Volta est When the people stand up, imperialism trembles. The imperialism that is watching us is worried. It is trembling. The imperialism is asking itself how it can break the link between the CSP and the people. The imperialism is trembling. It is trembling because it is afraid. It is trembling because here in Ouagadougou, we are going to bury it. I thank you for coming and I salute you because you also demonstrate that all our detractors who are inside and outside, they have been wronged on our account. They believed that by their intoxication maneuver, they believed that by their intimidation maneuver, they could stop the CSP's march towards the people. You came. You have demonstrated the opposite. Imperialism is shaking, and it will shake. People of Haute Volta, represented here by the sample of the city of Ouagadougou, thank you. I thank you because you give us the opportunity to give you the healthy information, the right information, the information that comes from the base. What is it about? It is about telling you exactly what our enemies want, what the CSP wants, and what the people have the right to. The people love freedom. The people love democracy. Therefore, the people will attack all enemies. But who are the enemies of the people? The enemies of the people? Those who are inside, those who are outside. They are there, among you, the enemies of the people. Stop. They are currently trembling. But you have to unmask them. You have to fight them until they are in their hole. The enemies of the people inside. It is all those who have enriched themselves illicitly, taking advantage of their social situation, taking advantage of their bureaucratic situation. So, through the maneuvers, through the fraud, through the false documents, they find themselves shareholders in the societies. They find themselves financing any company. They are soliciting agreements for such and such a business and claim to serve their Volta. They are enemies of the people. They must be unmasked. They must be fought, and we will fight them with you. Who are the enemies of the people? The enemies of the people. It is again this bourgeois faction that is being dishonestly enriched by fraud, corruption, and the purging of state agents. To be able to introduce hand-to-hand -hand combat, all kinds of products, whose prices are multiplied by 10. They are the enemies of the people. This bourgeoisie's fraction, we must fight it. And we will fight it. Who are the enemies of the people? The enemies of the people are still these political men who are not going through the campaign until there are elections. They are still these political men who are convinced that only they can make their vote, represent seven million politicians capable of leading this country. That's what the enemies of the people are for. We must unmask them and fight them. And we will fight them with you. The enemies of the people are also the forces of obscurity, these forces that are under spiritual cover, under regular cover, instead of really serving the moral interests of the people. Instead of serving the interests of the people, are exploiting it. We must fight them. And we will fight them. I would like to ask you, do you love these enemies of the people? Yes or no? Yes. Do you love them? Yes. Then we must fight them inside. Will you fight them? Yes. Will you fight them? Yes. Forward for the fight. The enemies of the people are also outside, outside our borders. They rely on the abominations that are here among us, at all levels, in civil as in the military, in men as in women, in young as in the old, in cities as in the countryside. They are there, the enemies of the people. They are there, the foreign enemies. It is neo-colonialism. It is imperialism. 
C'est ça les ennemis du peuple, il faut les démasquer et les combattre. Et nous les combattons So based avec... on these apath rides, those who have denied the homeland, those who have denied the Haute Volta, in fact, those who have denied the people of Haute Volta, the external enemy develops a series of attacks, two phase attacks, the non-violent phase and the violent phase. We are currently in the non-violent phase. And the external enemy, that is imperialism, that is to say neo-colonialism, is trying to sow doubt in the minds, trying to sow confusion within the Voltaic people. So, through their newspapers, their radio, their television, they make people believe that the high Volta is on fire and on blood. Est-ce que vous les aimez? Alors, il faut les combattre à l'intérieur. Est-ce que vous les combattrez? Est-ce que vous les combattrez? En avant pour le combat. You are the people of the High Volta, standing, and your presence shows that imperialism is wrong and that these lies will not pass. You are here, you are standing, and it is he who is trembling today. A foreign journalist in a distant country, sitting in his climate office, in his rolling photo, dared to say that currently the CSP has a failure in this information unit. Hello? Hello? Is it a failure? You are there, answer me. Is it a failure? I wish imperialism were here. That they would hear you say no. Repeat. Is it a failure? No. Do you see? Imperialism is wrong. But imperialism is a bad student. It's a bad student. When he is beaten, when he is sent back from class, he comes back again. It's a bad student. He never learned the lesson of his failure. He never learned the lesson of his failure. He is there in South Africa, in the process of breaking the African people, simply because these Africans think of freedom, like you today. Imperialism is there, in the process of crushing the Arab peoples. It is Zionism. Imperialism is everywhere. And through its culture, which it spreads, through its false information, it leads us to think like it. It leads us to submit to it to follow it in all its maneuvers. Thanks to it, we must clear the way for imperialism. And I told you, it will go through a violent phase. This imperialism is the one who organized the landings in some countries we know. This imperialism is the one who armed those in South Africa who killed our brothers. This imperialism is the one who killed the Lumumba, the Cabral, the Kwame Krumah. But I tell you and I promise you, because I trust you and you trust the CSP, and because we form the people. That imperialism, when it comes here, we will bury it. Mais l'imperialisme est un mauvais élève. C'est un mauvais élève. We will bury imperialism here. Ouagadougou will be the Boribana of imperialism. But he tried, through very sophisticated methods, to make sure that even within the CSP there is division. He made sure that even within the Voltaic people there is concern and psychosis. We say that we are not afraid. For the first time, something fundamental is happening in Volta, something completely new. The people love democracy, but the people never had the power to establish a true political democracy here. The army has always had the possibility to take power, but never wanted democracy. For the first time, we see the army that wants power and democracy, and that wants to be really linked to the people. For the first time, we see the people coming in a massive way to reach out to the army. That's why we consider that this army that is painting the drawings of the revolt is the army of the people. This is why I also welcome these signs which speak of the people's army. Our enemies, both inside and outside, to harm us, rely on a certain number of elements. I will mention a few and I will leave you with the care to complete. They try to do what? That the CSP will stop the administration, the normal march of the state apparatus. Because the CSP has taken decisions against the military, and the CSP will take decisions against civil society. But we are taking these decisions simply because we believe that at this phase of our struggle, there are men who cannot keep up with our rhythm. There are officials who arrive at the office at 9 o'clock, 
who leave at 10.30 to go to their house and watch their villas. Is that normal? When we want to chase these kinds of officials, our enemies say, here, the CSP wants to block the state apparatus. But who is afraid of who? We are with the people. They are against the people. So we will take the decisions that will be against the enemies of the people, because these decisions will go in favor of the people, the militant people of Haute Volta. Do you agree that we keep rotten officials in our administration? Yes. Then we have to chase them. We will chase them. Do you agree that we keep rotten military in our army? Yes. Then we have to chase them. We will chase them. This may cost us our lives, but we are here to take risks. We are here to dare, and you are here to continue the fight no matter what. Our enemies say that the CSP is preparing to nationalize, that the CSP is preparing to confiscate goods. Who is afraid of who? When you take a tour of our Dugu, and you count all the villages there are, you will see that these villages only belong to a minority. How many of you, affected by the most remote areas of Haute Volta, have had to turn every night because you emptied the houses they rented and every day the tenants have to raise the price a little more? For those who have normally acquired their houses, there is no problem, there is no worry. However, those who have acquired their houses, their land, thanks to this mess, then we say to them, start trembling. If you have stolen, tremble, because we will pursue you. Not only will the CSP pursue you, but the people will take care of you. Yes or no? Yes. The people will pursue you wherever you are, and they will condemn you. Honest citizens, even if you have a thousand villages, don't be afraid. On the other hand, dishonest people, even if you have only a half square of land in an untouched area, in a very dark place, start to tremble. The CSP is coming. That the CSP does not intend to stop on such a good path. We have not started to stop. We are not here to collaborate. We are not here to betray the people. We are told that we want to nationalize. No, the CSP does not want to nationalize. He has never said he is going to nationalize. The CSP does not understand and will never understand, just like you, you will never understand that we come to settle in Volta. Let us create a business here in Volta. May we succeed in obtaining favors, a favorable regime, exemption from various taxes, under the pretext that we want to create jobs, under the pretext that we want to contribute to the development of the Voltaic economy, and then only after a certain number of years of shameless exploitation, staff cuts are declared. But on what conditions were you given these favors? This is on the condition that you create jobs for the Voltic people. Today you have squeezed the lemon, you want to reject it. No. And that's what we say no to. They are not happy about this. But the militant people of Volta are happy, and that is enough for us, CSP, to continue. Our enemies say, and you have heard it, that the CSP has proclaimed freedom, freedom of expression, freedom of press, and that the CSP is beginning to put an end to this freedom. The comrade Lengani Jean Martin said it earlier. Comrade Jean Martin Suedrago will say it better than me. That is, earlier, we do not want to put an end to freedom. Only, we say that the freedom to criticize triggers the freedom to protest, and the freedom for sincere men should not be the freedom for dishonest men. Those who use the freedom that the CSP has created to attack the CSP, in fact, to attack the Voltaic people, to them, we will remove freedom. We remove their freedom to harm, and we give them the freedom to serve the people. We cannot give the freedom to lie. We cannot give the freedom to intoxicate collectively the Voltaic consciousness. It would be working against the popular masses of the Voltaic. And we do not want that.
Hey. We Should also we say that certain elements of the CSP, for example, Captain Sankara, are going to Libya, to Korea, and that this is dangerous for the Houthi Volta. But, people of the Houthi Volta, one question. Libya has never done anything to us. Korea has never exploited the Houthi Volta. Libya has never attacked the Houthi Volta. Yet we know of countries that have attacked the Houthi Volta, that have put our parents in prison. Our grandparents died on battlefields for these countries. We cooperate with them. We do not complain. So, they say we went to Libya, and it's bad. Either. But Sangule left for Libya. Sazibo was in Libya. Sazibo was in Korea. Why don't we know full? Why? There is dishonesty somewhere. Someone is dishonest somewhere. Yesterday, we prepared Sazibo's trip to Libya, to Gaddafi, with the plane from Gaddafi. There was publicity around this issue. Today, we are leaving for Libya, right now. But we left in a responsible and intelligent manner for Libya. We left for Libya after Colonel Gaddafi, Colonel Mohammed Gaddafi, sent us emissaries three times. These emissaries have contacted us. We told the Libyan emissaries, we have nothing against Libya, absolutely nothing against Libya. But we have our positions, and ideologically, we are not virgins. We are ready to collaborate with Libya, but we are also ready to tell Libya what we criticize it in a responsible manner. It was after three approaches from Libya that we decided to go there and we set concrete conditions which are to the satisfaction of the Voltalian people. When the estimate is going to come from Tripoli and we are going to sell this estimate here at a good price, will the people be happy? Yes or no? This is Gaddafi's cement. Will you be happy or not? Yes. So what? Yes. Why do we want Gaddafi's cement? We don't want us to negotiate with Gaddafi. When we go to negotiate with certain countries, two million, three million French people, we talk about it on the radio. With Gaddafi, we negotiated three and a half billion. Three and a half billion. Thirty-five hundred million. So what? Are the people happy or not? The people love cooperation between states, states that respect their people. The people of their Volta do not want their voice to be told. We say no to the domestication of Voltaic diplomacy. We say no to the despotism of Voltaic diplomacy. We are free and we will say what we want. Nous disons non au despotisme de la diplomatie Voltaïque. Nous sommes libres et nous dirons où nous voudrons.